guys, it's Miss Grace with the Pickerington Public Library. So this week's grab and go activities is all has to do with nature, about planting and trees and things. So on the table here, I have a few different books, if you can see them, um, that have to do with planting and forests and trees. And you can check those out from the library. Um, you can look them up on the card catalog, or you can just give me a call and say, hey, Miss Grace, I'd really love some books about trees and planting, and I can get you some of those. So before I show you what's in our grab and go activity bag this week, I wanna ask you a question. What does a tree need to grow? Do you know what it needs to grow? I'm sure you probably do. So it needs a few things. What does it need first? Soil, it can't grow without soil. So it needs soil. It also needs water and it needs sunlight. So good, now that we've got that covered, I'm gonna pull up our bag here. So this week's grab and go, you'll stop by the library and get a brown bag just like this. There'll be some instructions inside for you where you can watch this video. It's pretty easy. So first of all, you're gonna have two little plastic bags. The first one will be full of dirt. The second one, it's really, you won't be able to see it in the video here, but there are two teeny tiny little seeds in here. And those are red pine tree seeds. So when you plant these, they will grow a red pine tree. Then you're also going to have a tiny little pot, two containers of paint. You can have either red, blue, yellow. Those are the combinations that we have. You can kind of get a mixture depending on what bag you get. And then the last thing that we have in our bag is a paintbrush. So your very first step is to take your pot and if you would like, you can paint your pot. So you can use the paint that we've provided or if you have some extra at home with your favorite colors, you can use those. You can even mix these to make your own different new colors. Um, so you can paint your pot. Now it's important to make sure you let the paint dry completely before we move on to the next step. So the next step will be to take your dirt, put it in your pot, of course, now, it's important also to remember this pot here has a very tiny little hole in it, um, and that's so that the water can get out and it doesn't um, hold inside your pot. You don't want that. So make sure you put something underneath your pot here, maybe like a little tiny plastic container or lid or something to catch the water and dirt that might come out through that hole. So you put your dirt in, and then you're gonna take your two red pine tree seeds, and you're going to put them inside your pot and in the dirt and you're going to push them about one fourth of an inch down. So if you don't know how much one fourth is, you can get a ruler and have a grown up help you to figure out how much one fourth is. It's not very much. It's just a very tiny little amount that you're going to push your seeds down and you're going to cover them up with the dirt and then you're going to give them some. So we gave them the dirt. That's one thing they need. What else do they need? Water. So you'll give them a little tiny bit of water. Now I found that the best thing to do when you're first starting seeds is to use a little tiny spray bottle if you have it, just to moisten the soil that way. You don't want your soil too wet or your seeds will have a hard time growing. They'll kind of just mold and it won't really grow. So just a little tiny bit of water. Then you're gonna take your pot and you're just gonna kind of set it in an area where it gets what they call partial sun. So do you know what partial sun might be? So it means it has sun sometimes, but shade sometimes as well. So it's important that it has a little bit of partial sun. Now, make sure that every day or every other day, you are checking your pot to make sure that your um, dirt is still moist. You wanna keep it moist. So if it's looking a little dry, spritz it a little bit, or put a tiny little bit of water in, and then keep an eye on it because after a little while, your tree is going to start to grow. Now, once your tree is about one inch tall, not very tall, you're gonna take your pot from the partial sun and you're gonna move it somewhere where it can get full sun. So move it to full sun, that sunlight is going to help it to grow better. It needs that sunlight to help it grow. So you'll put it in the sun and then once it gets big enough that it's so big that it's outgrowing your pot, that's when you can take it outside and transplant it outside. If it's too cold to put it outside, you can move it to a bigger pot until the springtime when it's a little bit warmer. So that is this week's grab and go activities. 
make sure that you're keeping an eye on your plant. And I would love to see pictures of what your trees look like. So make sure you snap a picture and you can send it to us here at the library, tag us on our social media, um, or the next time you come into the library, you can um, show me your pictures. All right, bye guys.